thank you very much for coming tonight. I am Paula Matthews. I'm the acting Stanford Caldwell director and librarian here at the Athenaeum. I am first going to perform what uh, uh, here at the Athenaeum we refer to as housekeeping. Please take this moment to turn off any pager, cell phones, anything that uh, makes a sound. And we'll wait while we hear them all kind of winding down. That's a, that's a nice moment. In the very, very unlikely event that alarms should go off, I would ask that those of you at the front of the room would follow me. Oh, this is better than usual. This is quite wonderful. Follow me out through this room and onto the street. Those of you at the back of the room, please follow staff members out that door to the uh, left past George Washington and out into the street through the children's library. We do not use the front doors um, if an alarm goes off. For those of you who may not be members, yes, there's a hand. What? Do, uh, sounds like, say that again. I'm sorry? It was an accident. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Another moment. I just told all the speakers that I've been known to speak into the light for about a minute and a half before people <laughs> indicate that I'm not speaking into the mic. So I thought I was having another one of those moments. Um, if, if you're not a member, um, I would encourage you to consider becoming a member of the Boston Athenaeum, the now largest membership library in uh, the United States. We're a very vi vibrant and diverse organization. We're a hybrid of museum, poetry, music, uh, events like this, um, a very wonderful children's library, which some of you have seen, and uh, the membership information is in the foyer, as you like. So. Now for the real event. Thank you again so much for coming. And I look around and I see this extraordinary, extraordinary gathering and collections of, of talented writers. I can't imagine how we could have uh, improved unless we had E.B. White sitting in the room alone. Um, I'm one of those people who tells the corny stories. I was the child in Waxahachie, Texas, who lay underneath the library table because it was the only uh, air-conditioned place on the plains. My wagon train moved faster than any other wagon trains in the book fair. And uh, I feel so honored in your presence. Thank you so much for coming. What you do is so important um, to all of us. So, excuse me, give me a little tear up. Um, I know that, that an event like this sometimes brings out nostalgia, so I will not, uh, not pain you with any of my own, but for those of you who have not been forced to see it, behind the membership desk is a picture of my daughter, and right next to it is a picture of Pippi Longstocking. Now, my daughter was called Pippi Longstocking for many years, and in fact, when I first read that book to her, she said to me, Mama, somebody wrote a book about me. And I'm sure that you've touched children's lives like that in ways that we can never, ever uh, imagine. And so I thank you. E.B. White also wrote um, that English usage is sometimes more than just taste, judgment, and education. Sometimes it's sheer luck, like getting across the street. I know that's not true here, um, but I just want to applaud all of you and for all your work. He, of course, also wrote that genius is more often found in a cracked pot than a whole one. So with that, I leave you to contemplate what kind of pot you might be. Thank you very much. <laughs>